Generic greetings and welcome to Railroad Corporation 2. Today's beverage is a very carbonated, highly carbonated, changing my mind, um, <laughs> cherry cola. So welcome to Railroad Corporation 2. This is a railway building and management game with the usual staples. So you'll be laying track, building trains, ferrying cargo from one place to the other, you can place signals, upgrade the uh, towns and such. Either way, it's something we're going to check out in this video. I have played the first one, not a huge amount, but I did enjoy, well, what I can remember of it. This is the early access release of the sequel, version 0.8.1 with other numbers shown on the bottom left if you actually care. Basically, it isn't finished and I think there's a year's roadmap ahead of it. This is the very snowy sandbox mode. There's also a campaign mode as well as the multiplayer mode, which is exciting. I haven't yet tried either of those, but the latter I'm very much excited to give a go of. And that's a sentence that's assembled incorrectly. Either way, let's go ahead and see what we can do. So this is my railroad company. It's actually quite profitable at this stage. <laughs> let's see if that is still true in the future. I'm just going to go over to research department and... Um, you can see there's quite a big um, a big sort of research tree here. Truth be told, not overly interesting because a lot of it's just like increased speed by like 5% and things like that. Um, so not, you know, not like, you know, overly exciting, but it's extensive for sure. And obviously this will be something that's expanded upon uh, as the game gets, uh, you know, more and more um improved and more additions are bolted on etc just going to go over to uh, geology this is something that uh, it does differently from a lot of contemporaries this is where you can basically look for resources and then you can set up um different sort of expeditions and then you know build up and that's what we'll be doing in the video because we need to basically build up brickworks um but before we do that however i do have a bit of an issue and that's that I'm running some old law cores and I don't really like the idea of that one. I'm going to add a facility, it's going to be a train depot and go over to our trains owned by the company and uh, we've got a couple of the old uh, 080 Memnons. I'm going to basically make sure those change up to... Oh, that one's actually already being changed, that's fine. Um, this one here will say where well, it's going to port orange. It can't upgrade there, but it can upgrade here um, and we'll save that one. I mean, it's still got a couple of corners to be filed off and rounded off and such, but the UI itself, it's quite simple to quickly just change things over and it's um, quite readable. Uh, you can click tech details as well and see like this is the uh, this is our locomotive, shows you like the mileage and the service life. Anything in green I think is what we've uh, upgraded, so there is a visual thing there for our research, which is always handy. Anyway, I'm just going to double check, make sure we're utilising our... Uh, our locals as much as possible. Let's see about uh, changing that over while it's in here. We'll save that. Um so thing like this T7 here, this is carrying, what is it carrying? Well, it's carrying coal and unloading passengers. I probably we can get more coal on that one. Uh, yeah, we can, uh, we can get uh, two extra uh, coal there, and that means we can probably unload two extra there. Obviously, we can. Um, also, load some more passengers, maybe, or just one set of passengers, and unload passengers there. Save. What I like is that, obviously, it's telling us if we are loading too much and not unloading all of it. So it's handy there. Also, um, what's again a bit different to some of the contemporaries is that the location, like your buildings here, um, hang on, let me click on this one, uh, they're, they're actually separate. So this town here, uh, is this, uh, Shawnee, um, it's got a city hall and a coal mine, so it's separate. And that matters because obviously supply and demand and uh, different businesses, etc. So you've got uh, a couple of options for that one. So let's just see about maybe changing things up. So this thing is still the old loco, so I'm not going to bother with that one. Is T2 waiting? It is still waiting. Uh, T5, that is fine. This is just passengers and mail, basically. So I can I, no, I can't uh, get an additional passenger. Apparently these passengers are very heavy um each one is 28 tons of passengers wow okay uh no i don't want to save changes on that one so i need to set up a quartz quarry and i can do that by going to geology and this plot of land has been uh basically examined we've done a bit of a geology and found that there is a quartz quarry there we will set up mining and the mining will go there and it's going to call palm bay even though uh this is probably 
furthest away from palms that you're going to get. And we also need to, uh, well, what do we need to do? Not go out of business, which is the main thing. So I'm trying not to spend too much money. Um, let's just wait until our money goes up a bit. But I do want to get a lobbying department and start doing some lobbying to open up a brickwork. So if I go over to our office and lobbying, it's going to be oh, 105 generic units of currency. That's going to leave me on, yes, not a huge amount. I, I really uh, should be, have a, do I have a loan I can pay back? Um, I don't know, financial department, no, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, just going to wait until I've got, oh, there's even, we've got a decent amount, decent amount of money now. Lobbying department, install. And so, say it's a, uh, Euless, I think it is. It says Industry Land, a company, uh, a company will acquire a plot of land for the construction of industrial facilities. It requires a level three person because this is quite a big place. But Huntington Park, for example, we can do it uh, quite. Yeah, we can do it with only a level one. Let's hire Curtis here and hire an assign and start lobbying, which is going to be nine days in order to. Uh, get that going but i'm not going to build uh, until i've got more money brickworks i'll build a brickworks at Huntington park so it'll go from palm bay with the quartz to Huntington park um basically make the bricks and then send it over to the local warehouse over on the top left here okay good excellent um, in terms of track building and tools wise, um, it's quite simple in terms of how you do it. You would basically just click on railroad construction and we can go like say from this point here and then you can sort of spur off your old alt, you can get like parallel track as well so it does snap to that. Um, you can raise the level, you can have grids, you can cross over. Um, so I can do something like that and that and you can see it uh, will we'll cross. Um, yeah, you can set these things up and you know put all the waypoints in. So, very functional. Um, over to Huntington Park and, uh, oh, clay has been discovered. So let's have a quick look at geology. I've found clay over there, fine. I'm gonna probably keep signing our specialists uh, like this. This is a bit clunky, I must confess. I haven't assigned them all individually. I can understand why, because they do have different traits and like levels, but do I really care about a 1% geology exploration cost? No, I just want to say, assign the people and go. Um, that would be nice. Um, a bit of uh, tax there. Okay, that's fine. Um, lobbying then. Um, oh, apparently it's 55 days. Um, so, how do we... How do we how do we how do we build there? Huntington Park, mm, industry land. Ah, there we go. So we can get a brickworks. Oh, oh, right. Brickworks is a lot of money. <laughs> you need quartz, one quartz, three clay, and one coal. Well, I know that clay's around here because we've just found it, haven't we? There it is there. Set up mining. I can I can literally put it there. Oh, not enough money to set up. Maybe I can't put it there. But, you know, that's where it would go. So, we've got quartz coming from here. Clay coming from there. The next one then is coal, which the nearest coal point is here. Pasadena. Unless there is... Uh, let me use this coal this uses coal there's only two supplies of coal one here and one here okay and it matters because we need to bring it to this location okay that's problematic hmm i'm just going to double check uh, check these trains here i just want to see if we can level them up a little bit um literally can't get any more passengers wow uh this one what plates we've already had a look at that one haven't we yes we have uh so this one we've already checked that one out this one i think they're all yeah they're all, they're all been done okay uh do you want to save changes no right well we could that's paper maybe carry Oh, look at that. There's, in woodland, I can, I can take paper to here and make books. And then potentially bring books down to... Oh, apparently no one wants to read in this location. <laughs> All right. Fine. Fine. Uh, how are we doing for our research? We're probably completed with this uh, 
new low coat. Yes, indeed. I'm going to go for maybe maximum attractive effort. Let's assign our three scientists. Start research on that one. And... Yeah. Grain's there. I could bring grain to the whiskey distillery, but then I need... Then I need glass. No resource has been discovered in that location. Fine. I guess we're just going to have to keep going with the low complexity stuff. Uh, let's not sign that guy, actually. And uh, that one. And that one. Big an exploration. Okay. So, in order to get bricks over there, like I said, we do need to... We need... It's, it all it's based around the brickwork stuff. I'm tempted just to go elsewhere. We could make steel. But we don't have to carry steel. Um, take coal from this coal mine to Glendale. Do I want to do that? I think I probably do. What I'll do is I'll add a track. So upgrade that one. Scrap this other bit of track. We'll go from there to, say, there. And confirm that. We don't necessarily need that. Uh, will it go in? But I'll put one in anywhere. And then we'll go with, it's going to have to be buy new from there. We've got this new, new one, buy. It's going to have to come all the way down to Pasadena. So we'll say Pasadena, all the coal, all the time. And then go to Glendale. It would be nice if you could click on them in the map rather than this list. If you have the option, it would be nice. Um, and we're going to offload at the steel mill. Save. So that's now built. Okay, good. I could bring passengers back from Glendale, but this Pasadena is literally a steel mill. Oh, we could bring off from here as well. Oh, that's actually a good thing. Let me do that. Let me upgrade this. And that can go to... Oh, there's some tax there. Uh, we're going to go with from there to there. Confirm. And then from this point, we're going to sort of curve around. Um, actually, no. We're going to redo. From this point, I want to go curve around and then just basically go straight. <laughs> straight over like so. And confirm. All right. We don't need... Uh, I say I don't need that. It's always useful to do something like that. So you can curve back if you need to. So... We haven't double tracked, so there might be some problems on the line. And I haven't put any signals in here yet. Alright. I don't want anything on this line unless it's absolutely necessary. So let's go with um, buy new, buy, go to the first location. Iron ore, add station, Glendale, drop off. And I guess we can come back with passengers. Uh, Glendale. Ah, two extra tons of passengers. Save. Let's do a bit more research. Uh, extra pulling mass. I bet you as well that, that like the extra couple of tons that we needed will probably unlock from this one. <laughs> Most likely. So yeah, we can see that that there is... Is that set up correctly? I always have a blind spot when it comes to um, the signals. These are correct. I know that these are correct, but these are set to one way. System, like one way, but I've got uh, two ways. But it should be fine. See, it's waiting there. Then it'll come out and Go over that way, yeah. And then there's T9. I don't know why that's pointed upwards like a flag. <laughs> How curious. Anyway, that's now headed. And what's this one doing? It is waiting. I think it's because I've put these two ways in. One way. Uh, what if I was just to get rid? Would it just crash? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to delete them. I'm going to see what happens. I've never actually ran them on the same line. I have a feeling this might crash. Or is it waiting? No, it's actually waiting for, yeah, for them to come along. Oh, so I will put in a, a 
a one-way thing. No, it can be two-way. Yeah, because then it'll stop there. Let's see. It's on its way. And if we put a passing point in, it might help. So from, say, there. Click on that. Hold Alt. Yeah, to double track. Useful. And then that. And then confirm. Then we're going to have a one-way system. It'll be in... Mm, there. And there. That's correct. Good. Right. Money is being made. Uh, steel is being produced. Good. I should probably own this plate factory, but it's 1.1 um, million. And it's... Uh, <laughs> It's not happening. Uh, hang on. That's it. Pasadena now requires coal. I mean, mate, there's a coal mine next door. Uh, <laughs> I think you can actually sell locally. I think you can. Um, yeah. Anyway, I do want to buy this coal mine before it becomes ridiculously expensive. But I'm, I'm a very aware of the money... Uh, that should be okay. Purchase it. There you go, sell in town. Sell this, sell this commodity in local industry to citizens via the city hall. Um, set up a rule. Sell to city hall if I'm more than, say, 10. There you go. That'll do. Bit of money coming in. Alright. Do I own this coal mine? I do. Similar thing. Why not? But I don't own the plate. Uh, yeah, the plate there. Clear pit. Clear pit's expensive. Don't think we're going to go there. Everything seems to be working. Which is handy. Um probably going to go for a new facility though in Glendale and it's going to be a repair shop so we can actually repair the locomotives because they do have when we click on them the uh basically the the maintenance level on it and we have like little mal you got minor malfunctions and mal ma major malfunctions difficult for me to say um you can check like the settings as well there's loads of things you do for priority uh change the color of it just power usage limit if you want to limit the amount of coal that they're using and maintenance and such so there's all the options there, which is handy. Hang on, wait, is that working? It's actually working. Handy. Good. Okay. So, Palm Bay, over to there. It's going to require the brickworks, which is ridiculously expensive. I don't think we'll be carrying bricks over to that local warehouse. How are we doing for pottery? Actually, pottery's all right. Um... 268,000 we've made, and we need to make half a million. Yeah. Alright. Just trying to see if there's any very easy um, money makers here. Do I own this iron ore company? I really don't. Uh, I'm not going to spend the all the money to buy it either. Money's actually going up quite well. Uh, we can check our trains and see the money they've made. Wow, this the second thing I've ever made. It's earned 1.2 million over its lifetime, nearly 1.3. That's impressive. I could upgrade it, but I don't see much point. Uh, speed, actually, yeah, speaking of upgrades, let's go with... Um, what's this? Mass produced. Oh, cheap. It, it cheapens it out. Okay. I'll just assign some scientists on this. Or researchers, I don't know what scientists. Uh, we'll get repairability as well. There's a bit of micro when it comes to, to that. But we are on max speed, remember, so, you know, we'll have a bit more time. Uh, oh, we need more people there. Let's go with anything that requires three people. Yeah, one, two, three. Start expedition. Scientists completed uh, repairs. Go with service life. Assign and assign. And... Oh, rated power as well. 
So I bet then, now that we've got rated power, T9, I reckon we could add an additional iron ore. Yep, thought so. <laughs> and probably another passenger as well. So there is a bit of a difference, isn't there? It's like worth, it, it is worth upgrading stuff. It really is. Okay. Um, we now have enough, I think, to build a brickworks. So we're going to construct the brickworks in Xi'ar, and it's going to be nearly a million, but whatever. And that's now done. So build a brickworks. Uh, we now need to supply it with resources. Um, from Palm Bay, then, uh, we'll have to build a new station, and it's going to go in there. And similar thing, well, I will add a track. I always like to add a track straight away. Um, build a new one over here. I'm going to place it there and add a track again and upgrade. Now, I'm very, very aware of the money or the lack of. Uh, let's go to here. That would be 67,000 generic units of currency. That is fine. Confirm. So, I need to get a train on this one. I'll do that. Because, you know, even if I'm just sending the quartz over there now, even though the other stuff's not going, it doesn't matter. Uh, the brickworks, do we actually own it? We do own it. That's, that, that's handy. Um, that, that looks so sharp, that corner. <laughs> All right. So, how are we going to do this? Um, well, it's going to be another train, isn't it? I'm just waiting for money to build up a little bit. Um... I don't know how much this is going to cost. So new from this location, uh, 10,000. Um, there's income tax there. So we will buy that. It wants to go from Palm Bay with all of the quartz that it can carry. Load more. You load more than you unload. Correct. Uh, the station is Huntington Park. And we will offload that and save it. That's now on the go. Pasadena now requires lumber. Oh! Ah, no. Wait, sorry, yes, it is lumber, not logging. It's not wood. Okay. Of note, of note. Let's go ahead and have geology department set up mining and go for there. Um... All right, this is not going to take, <laughs> I mean, do we really need a train coming from here? I mean, we could probably walk it across. <laughs> we'll set that up. I'm not even going to add a track because it's literally going to go from there to there. <laughs> All right. Uh, ooh. Yes, I'm just going to do this. The reason for that is... Again, I'm not going to mess around too much. Add new facility, repair shop. And new train from... Oh. Where did I buy that from? Oh, I bought it from here. Destroy it. Yeah. Not going to... I want to buy new from there. And it's going to go to Port Clay, <laughs> essentially. And add station. Yeah, I wish I could click on the, the map for that one. And dump the stuff off of the brickworks. That's fine. Let's do a bit more research. Increase max speed. Uh, fuel conservation. Good. So that's uh, two of the three resources. We just need coal now. If I was to find some more, it would be very handy. Assign specialists. I can. I'm just going to assign all of these. Uh, assign and assign. Begin exploration. Because otherwise, the coal is going to have to come from here, Pasadena, and it's just going to, it's just going to block everything. Actually, no, it can come from here. Mm. That is a point. And curve it round. Uh, it wouldn't 
require much effort to set this up. I don't think. It's going to probably jam things up a little bit. Oh, we've completed the pottery challenge. <laughs> challenge. Um, sell in town. Have more than 10 in stock. Ah, oh, it's already, it's fully sold. That's why it's not working. Right. Uh, I've got three things. I think, I think we can do this. New train. From here. Call, please, and thank you. And then add, it was Huntington, wasn't it? Drop. Off at Brickworks, not at City Hall. I think there's going to be a bit of a problem on this one. But let's see. Let's see about that. I think that's going to cause some bother. Those in there. Like I say, I do have a bit of a blind spot when it comes to the signals and such. But T13, which you can name them, but I haven't bothered. That's on its way with coal. And then that'll be bricks coming from Huntington Park. Um, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to build a new... A new uh, station there. Don't need to add another track, but I do want to go underground. And I want to connect it to there. Confirm. And I want to do that because T12 is going to go to Huntington Park, drop off the clay, pick up bricks. Uh, money transfer received. I can't really do anything at the moment. Add station. Uh, what is it? That borough. We're going to go to the borough and drop off at the local warehouse the bricks. And then it'll head back to there because it'll just do a big cycle. Which is good. And that is technically everything set up. I think. So it's going to drop there. It's going to try and pick up bricks, which it won't find any because there ain't any being produced yet. There's T13 coming out. Which that is now... Yeah, that's now red. That's... Strangely working. Um, <laughs> I'm sure it'll. I'm sure it's limited. Uh, putting in this, um, this the Y here, allow it to head off. What's it actually doing? Is it loading cargo? Uh, bricks loading pending. Ah, so. I can. Temporarily disable it. Now, that's a question. That is a question, and I don't have the answer to it. Because... Uh, mm, we can say... Save. Now it'll head off. It's trying to load six bricks. Is it load the best it can? Or not? I don't know. That is the way to say, yeah, load it. If you can't, just just head off. There probably will be. There'll be a setting that I haven't looked at. Uh, that's fine, and that one's fine. So, bricks loading pending. Let's see. Yes, bricks are now being produced. Bricks better be worth it. How much are bricks? 27,000 compared to raw resources of just 12,000. So yeah, because it's a produced item, it's pretty good. It is pretty good. But that's bricks. Yeah, there's loading bricks. We just got a couple more bricks to work on. Everything else is loaded in there. Coal's gonna be the main, the main problem over here, just because of the distance. Yeah, I think so.
what we'd need to do ideally is let's do mass produced. Oh, I need to be level two, so I can't get past that point just yet. Start research there. Yeah, ideally we want to. Oh, there. Oh, there's coal. Perfect. That's actually what we want. That changes things entirely. So it's not going to come all the way from here, but that's going to be a whole different level, um, which I will not get into at this stage because that's going to take a big amount. That's a lot of upgrades. Oh, look at the money coming in. That's money rolling in. I might be able. To, I was going to say I might be able to afford my pottery factory now, but that's uh, that ain't happening. <laughs> It's it's went from 1.1 mil to nearly 1.6. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, this, I'm going to upgrade the repair shop to the next level so I can repair two uh, things at once, which is handy. Yeah, okay. And we've delivered six bricks of 60, so we've, we've 10 percent of it. Oh. Apparently... This place now demands mail. So the places are growing up, getting a lot bigger. In fact, I was just about to say, does it actually change? Do buildings like Ranry pop up? Yes. Yes, they do. Yes, indeed. Uh, Huntington Park now requires wood. And this requires coal now. Oh, well, we, we can get coal and bring it over if we were so inclined. Is this more bricks? It is. We've actually got 12 bricks now. Oh. I can say, where's the, yeah, the, the the one that we're short of? Definitely not, definitely not quartz. Clay, not so much, because it's just from here. It's only because of the distances it's uh, going through now. But you can see when, <laughs> you can see what happens when we unload. That's a lot of money. Um, Do I want to, I mean, I've got, I own that clay pit. I own that. I own that coal mine. Don't need to upgrade it either. Do I own this clay pit? Don't know if I do. I iron ore mine, should I say? Um, I don't, but I could buy it. But I'm tempted to just do pottery factory. Or do I set up? No, you know what? Set up there. Set up mining. I'm gonna put it there. It's Boston apparently. And build new. Let's rotate that around. Railroad station. I had a track because we can. Let's see then. From here, it's going to come all the way to say there. Mm, no, actually. We can probably make this a bit easier on ourselves. We'll go from there and uh, we'll go around here. And over to there and confirm that. And oh, look at that, there's like a little bridge there. Is that about in the middle as well? It pretty much is in the middle. So I want to say from that point, uh, double track. Can you double track across here? You can double track across there. That's um, very handy. Confirm. One way signals. Uh, so that way. And that way. Yes. And... Oh, I'm totally going to jam the line up here. New train. Right. This is going to completely jam this up. Unless I... Mm, mm, right. I'm going to be a bit cheeky here. <laughs> From this point, I'm going to come uh, out and round <laughs> to there confirm that because then instead of having to go all the way around it's going to go back over yes it's not efficient <laughs> but it's what we're doing uh, right so it's going to be new from here by go to Boston load up call Yes. Add station. Uh, technically the port. Dump the coal. Save. New one again. Uh, Boston. 
load that up add Huntington unload save and we already own the one at Boston I'm going to do I buy out the pottery factory? yeah purchase the pottery factory alright well I think probably T13 coming from here I think that's going to be losing his money because of the distances. I'm actually losing money on this one as well. Yeah, I might get rid of T13. Mm, destroy it. It's, I think it's just blocking the lineup too much. And we've now got Boston as well. So we're selling the coal to just direct to the town hall here. And then to here. Um, from this, I'll say repair shop. I think we only need the one. Uh, oh, we're actually halfway for delivering bricks. Oh, wow, there's loads of bricks as well. The brickworks is pretty much completely full. I'm going to change this then. I'm going to delete that and not carry any not carry any bricks. Mm. New. Uh, go to Huntington Park. All the bricks. And then over to unpronounceable to the borough drop off bricks and there we go any other research I can do oh what's that ah this place now demands bricks well you can <laughs> go and find them yourself uh, <laughs> let's just uh, get a couple of people exploring here a couple of specialists don't think there's any research I can undertake just yet. Mass production, which requires level 2. Upgrade the department. Uh, requires 50 square metres of the office space. So I need to increase our office space. Upgrade. Square metres goes up. Yep. Yeah. Upgrade. So then research. Upgrade. 200,000. And... Then assign level two job applicants and we'll start research on that one. That's mass production. Then it goes over to the 266T. What's the T for? Or tender, maybe? 260. I don't know. Let me know in the comments on that one. 262. Six six, right? But why is that a two six zero? Yeah, there's some someone someone let us know. I'll be fine. We're fine. Anyway, we have delivered over half the bricks for the uh, challenge here, which is pretty good. Our challenge quest, whatever you want to call it, and overall, things are, I think, working. Anyway. I think we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Railroad Corporation too. It's, um, at this stage, early access, it is very functional. And it is quick to build stuff. I'm having fun with it. I, I, like I said, there's nothing massively offensive that I can think of. I mean, yes, some of the rough edges. The, the research is a bit bland, but, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, you're not going to not gonna get flying trains or anything like that in this research thing. It's just extra power and stuff. Um, but you're not just building your track and, you know, putting in the signals. You're also, like, it's got this geology side of it. You're sort of lobbying, building uh, different uh, businesses and things like that. So it's got a lot of the extra management side to it. The geology side and things popping up and ch the world changing is quite nice. Um, but yeah, overall, I have enjoyed my time with it, with a couple of hours that I've played with it. And let's see what happens in the future. Excited to see any other content. I don't know if, if there's other biomes are planned. I think they are. Um, different uh, nations. Oh, what's happening there? We have a problem? Uh, no. Um, yeah, anyway, just like different, uh, different nations. Trains would be interesting. Uh, locomotives. See how they get on. Either way, hope you have enjoyed this little look at the game. And as always, comment in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.